So we just filled up on tacos. That's fantastic. So now we're gonna take the Ventura the Ojai River Trail. It goes straight from Ventura all the way up to the small mountain town of Ojai. So you don't have to ride with traffic. And this makes a perfect uh, first bike tour or even family biking tour. Yep, nice easy grade uh, going up the hill. Uh, you kind of start in town here, and once you get further up, you're passing like ranches. It gets really stunning up there. Connect three blocks from the train station, tumble off the train, and doo -doo -doo, straight up into Ohio. Gonna do some filming and show you guys what this trail is all about. So this trail, when it first leaves Ventura, is slightly in industrial, but it constantly changes the further you go up the mountain. So that's one cool thing about this trail. There's lots of like really distinct kind of, I guess, sections of it. So this part we like to call the post-industrial apocalypse. Section. Yeah, so we're not entirely sure what this is remnants of. Most of the old old rickety structures look like they've been knocked down at this point. Except for these two. It's uh, much less apocalyptic now than it was a decade ago. <laughs> Bye apocalypse. Enter a section where uh, there's actually some farming going on over here. And then you'll notice this wood fence and gravel path. There's a lot of equestrian users in the area. So this uh, fence kind of separates uh, the equestrians from the cyclists and, and runners. And generally the trail takes on more of a rural kind of nature left here is uh, Foster Park, a good place to take a break, fill up on uh, water. No fishing. I love how this part opens up. Get more views of the valley, mountains in the background over there. Probably one of the best uh, rail trails that we've ever been on. And it's also December <laughs> right now. That weather's amazing. So there's this cool little bridge that crosses uh, San Antonio Creek. So this area is actually a fish habitat restoration project. But in general, they're, they're trying to clean up all the, the rivers and creeks to hopefully one day bring the steelhead back, fingers crossed. So this part has got to be one of our favorites because it really opens up and you see great views of the valley. Oh my gosh, it's incredible out here. And it's such a different feel from where you first start. All right, so this part gets tricky, so we'll show you how to do it. When you hit the end of the trail, you'll run into this uh, market to the left. You want to go straight through. Cut through the parking lot, veer right. And then you're gonna cross here to uh, pass the horse over there. So if you pass the horse, you know you're going the right way. And then the trail makes a left. And this continues into town. But it is easy to get turned around back there by that market. But now you know, because of the bicycle travel channel. So this last part of the trail goes through uh, some residential and it parallels uh, the main business district off to the left. And it ends at a park. All right, we're coming up on the edge of the park. I think we're gonna turn off here and head to our lodging for the evening. So that's it for this virtual ride. If you're in the LA area and are looking for a great first bike tour or a family friendly bike tour, this is a great one to do. It really is. Spectacular ride, beautiful scenery, really pretty, pretty simple and easy. I love how there are very, very few road crossings. And there's options. You know, you can stay indoors, which we're gonna do uh, for a couple days, but there's also camping options nearby. Yeah, so tons of options, no matter how you wanna do it. Uh, it makes a great long weekend bike tour in the LA area. So that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe. So if you want more bike tours, more virtual rides, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching. <laughs>